Yeah. Hi, hello everyone. This is Shanmugaraj. Welcome to my channel. One of the aims of this channel is to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of leadership, project management, and agile. You can help me with that either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos with your friends and colleagues who are in need of it. Right? So having said that, let us get into today's topic. Currently we are discussing topics in the leadership areas, particularly ideas from MIT Sloan School of Management. I'm planning to share some of the ideas I gone through with these institutions like MIT, or Harvard, or Stanford with you guys. Hope that helps you guys in your career. So today's topic is how to harness the strategic power of a workforce ecosystem. This article, How to Harness the Strategic Power of a Workforce Ecosystem, published in MIT article series. They're talking about why it matters. Managers across all levels and functions must reevaluate what it means to lead in a workforce ecosystem structure. They build a orchestration framework that might help in harnessing your workforce ecosystem in your company. What is a, a workforce ecosystem? A workforce ecosystem is an integrated structure of an internal employees and external contributors working together. Right? You can imagine uh, people are working in a valley stream or an agile release train. You might have your own employees and you might have suppliers in that. Right? So they add value to an organization while pursuing individual and collective goals and they are essential for tapping into the power of today's interconnected collaborators. Workforce ecosystems need managers to ensure everyone is functioning together, but according to the new book co-authored by MIT Sloan Management Review Editorial Director David Kiran and MIT Initiative, on the digital economy, digital fellow Elizabeth J. Altman, the key to a successful ecosystem is not management, it is orchestration. Management often implies or directly re refers to control. Orchestration, on the other hand, conveys the idea that Individual actors have agency or autonomy beyond the structures imposed by HR and management fiat. The co-authors are also primary researchers behind a multi-year project that surveyed executives and leaders in business, non-profits, military branches, and more. In this excerpt from this new book, Workforce Ecosystems, Reaching Strategic Goals with People, Partners and Technologies, the authors outline the essential elements of a workforce ecosystems orchestration framework. So that's what we're going to look, look at that in this video. Workforce ecosystem orchestration it's not just an HR responsibility. Senior leaders and business unit leaders also make decisions related to managing a workforce ecosystem. 
as do leaders in HR, procurement, IT, finance, legal and other groups. The author says from their research, they have identified four themes that are helpful and arguably essential to consider as one strives to orchestrate a workforce ecosystem. Leadership approaches, integration architectures, technology enablers and management practices. So these four forms and orchestration of the framework. Considering the sets of the players working to orchestrate workforce ecosystems and these recurring themes, they developed their workforce ecosystem orchestration framework. The picture we're seeing is workforce ecosystem orchestration framework developed by MIT team. It has four hexagon. This is the heart of this framework. So it starts with leadership approaches and then you need to have integration orchestrators, technology enablers and management practices. So these four areas forms a major part of the framework. And then we have human resources and procurement in one of the horizontal axis and IT and finance and legal in the second horizontal axis. We will uh, dive into detail of these components of the framework. Framework graphically illustrates how organizational functions come together in a workforce ecosystem and building on our identified themes addresses key activities and systems essential to workforce ecosystem orchestration. Around the outside of the graphic are the critical players, including senior leadership, business unit leaders, and functional areas. We organize this along three axes. We place senior leaders and business unit leaders on the vertical axis through the middle of the figure because they are primary orchestrators who generally need to take a holistic and integrated view of the ecosystem. Right, so the senior leaders and business unit leaders are playing a major role here. We play HR and procurement opposite each other on the top horizontal axis to the figure because these functions often have a manager responsibilities associated with gaining access to as well as managing essential contributors to the ecosystem. We place IT across from finance and legal on the second horizontal axis through the figure to represent functions that serve crucial roles to enable the ecosystem to exist and operate effectively. The four concentric hexagons correspond to the themes that emerged from our research encompassing cross-functional activities and systems vital to orchestrating workforce ecosystem. So these four hexagons, two horizontal axis and one vertical axis forms your orchestrating framework. Let us try to understand each component of the framework. The outermost hexagon in the picture represents leadership approaches. Orchestrating workforce ecosystems requires significant shifts in leadership behaviors and mindsets. For instance, since many participants in workforce ecosystems are external to the company, such as gig workers, subcontractors, and app developers, managers cannot exert the same types of direct control that they can with their own employees. As additional examples in a workforce ecosystem, community building within and beyond organizational boundaries and influencing without authority become critical elements of leader's toolbox. Furthermore, diversity, equity, and inclusion principles and practices are examples of organization elements 
that may need to be extended to apply to external contributors. Leaders across all levels and function have to reevaluate what it means for them to lead into a workforce ecosystem structure. The next hexagon in the picture represent integration architectures related to orchestrating workforce ecosystem. Within an organization, functional areas and business units need to work together differently in workforce ecosystems. We hear time and again from executives who see redundancies, gaps and conflicts in how their organizations engage both employees and external workers. In some cases, the different parts of organizations manage different types of ecosystem relationships. A business development group, for example, might be responsible for strategic partnerships, whereas another group might own developer relationship. Without an integrated approach, this could lead to internal tensions and confused messaging to third parties. Integration architecture span not only HR and procurement, but also other areas including IT, legal and finance. Finally, leaders must decide how they should coordinate relationship with external contributors, such as choosing how rigorously they want to control third party outcomes. Next concentric hexagon, technology enablers, represents the information systems and data that enable the management of all types of contributors. In most organizations, workforce related technologies and data are fragmented. Different systems and different silos apply to different workforce contributors one system might track contract labor within one functional area, while another might manage a developer ecosystem that creates apps that augment a product's functionality. Yet another system might track third-party distribution subcontractors. Orchestrating workforce ecosystems includes managing and connecting the technologies that serve both the organization and its different types of contributors. In the center of the picture illustrating our orchestration framework, it's a hexagon that symbolizes the management practices. Workforce ecosystem require fundamental shifts in how organizations approach some of their key practices. For example, many management practices are tied to so-called employee lifecycle model acquiring, developing, and retaining full-time employees. In a workforce ecosystem, new management practices are often required to attract the best talent available wherever it is and engage individuals and organizations via various types of relationships, such as finding an individual contributors through digital labor systems or by opening an interfaces and enabling software developers to create apps to offer in the app stores. Right, so this is accepted from workforce ecosystem, reaching strategic goals with people, partners, and technologies. The book written by Elizabeth J. Altman, David Kiran, Jeff, and Robin Jones. So it is copyright to MIT. Right, so it's all all rights are reserved with MIT. With that, we have come to the conclusion of this video. Hope you guys got a fair understanding on orchestration framework for workforce ecosystem developed by MIT Sloan School of Management. We talked about several components of the framework that helps you to harness and build a strategy within your organization. We talked about four hexagons, components like management practices, enablers, right? We also talked about leadership approaches. And then we talked about two horizontal axes, which are enablers like IT, legal, procurement, HR, right? And we place business leaders and senior leaders in the vertical axis because they are the face of putting this framework and 
work in the company or your enterprise right so i hope uh, these kind of videos help you guys you know helps you guys in a better way to improve upon your uh, uh, leadership capabilities and uh, your landscape as well hope that helps in your career as well right so you may try to apply couple you know you may try to apply these you know things in your company as well right so so with that i'm signing off see you in the next video